David Aldridge will join us from the sidelines. We've got the Boston Celtics facing the Oklahoma City Thunder. <laughs> tonight, a great backcourt matchup, Doris. When you were going up against another talented guard in college basketball, did that change your approach at all? Well, you certainly knew when you were looking opposite somebody who had a skill set and a talent level that was going to challenge you for the full 48-minute game. And obviously, it raised the level of intensity. Uh, your interest was peaked, and you want to show out against the best players. So certainly, on the night you know you're going against an all-star type player, believe me, it's personal. They take the challenge. All great players do. They want the challenge, don't they? No doubt. And now, the opening lineup for Boston. They've got Bird. Johnson is out there with Jordan. And there's Shaquille O'Neal. And it's Garnett in at the four spot. Now here's Johnson following the miss by Wilt Chamberlain. Yeah, quick foul to pick up right away here in the first quarter. So it's the Celtics now. Now here's Johnson. his second foul already and that's going to force him to tone down his aggression defensively and some changes here for the Celtics Paul George comes in for Bird and it's LeBron in for Dennis Johnson Jordan's shot is off and about a minute gone here in the first quarter here's Garnett it's rebounded by Oklahoma City passes it to Irving and stolen by Jordan and here's the fast break. Jordan leading the way. Good job there. Jordan getting him in transition, and he does so much. You almost forget how dominant he can be defensively. And here are the Thunder now. Four-point game. In the corner, Irving with it. Jordan against Johnson. And stolen by Chamberlain. And it's Shaquille O'Neal with the foul. That's his first foul. Ray Allen, he's checked in for Michael Jordan. So first quarter, just over a minute and a half in. And Bryant kicks to Johnson. On the wing, Irving. Johnson the screen. Garnett with the block. KG has always had tremendous instincts. Sends another one back the way it came. On defense, Boston. The pass to Chamberlain. On the wing, Johnson. Watch again. Chamberlain against Shaquille O'Neal. Outside, George. Garnett, the pass to George. Garnett, the screen. Shot clock at six. Here's George. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. All right, a chance to check out the stats for LeBron James. Last season, he played outstanding, putting in about 27 points a game, nine assists, and eight rebounds. And with his ability to put the ball in the bucket, he has to be your primary focus defensively. I think defenses plan to stop him, but very few succeed, Greg. And that's why he's his team's leading scorer. Kobe's checked in for the Thunder. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by George. And last year, the Celtics appearing in the Eastern Conference Finals for a 35th season. Simply incredible, Kevin. The most in the East by far. The Sixers and Pistons are a distant second and third. And the way this front office has constructed this roster, expect that total to rise in the coming years. And his guys are getting frustrated. Coach just really kind of needs to calm them down. I think, Greg, they've got to continue to believe that the next shot is going to go in. He can hopefully communicate that effectively to them. Look 
Oklahoma City. Dennis Rodman, he's checked in for Worthy. And Russell Westbrook subbed in for Johnson. For Oklahoma City, they've gone 0 of 4, missing their first four field goals here. To the middle, trying to get back on track. Chamberlain, no good. His high percentage shot right at the rim, and he's wondering what happened. Pass to Garnett. Allen outside. Just four to shoot. It's stolen by Rodman. To the inside. And James pulls it down. Celtics leading by four. George with the ball. Guarded now by Yerder. Garnett wide open. Nailed from three-point land. Garnett's got himself going with the triple. His first basket of the game. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. There's the feed to Chamberlain. Stolen by O'Neal. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Allen for the three. That one doesn't go. And it's Oklahoma City the other way. Yeah, and last year it didn't matter whether it was on the home or on the road. They failed to take a game from either of the two meetings. You know, they may have lost some confidence coming off those losses last year. They know their roster is similarly talented. You wonder if that provides extra motivation in this matchup this season. Oklahoma City shooting their first free throw of the game right now. Opening night of the regular season. Blue sky for every team, Doris. Optimism is high. Players thinking about all the possibilities ahead. No doubt. It's a time of tremendous optimism for both the teams and the fans of these teams. And the culmination of the work you put into the offseason. Who's improved their skill level? Who's added a dimension to their offensive game? We're all salivating for the start of this year. <laughs> Cannot wait. Now here's Westbrook after the miss from Kevin Garnett. Irving kicks to Westbrook. Stolen by O'Neal. Just too many miscues here in the early going. Here's George. A shot goes in. First of the night. He's one for three to start the game. Hey, you're asking for trouble now. If you let Paul George get room to run. Excellent transition and superb at getting himself in the right position. Now, here is Chamberlain. Here's Irving. And the slam dunk by Irving. Ooh. A little extra on that one. He does. He doesn't usually finish soft either. Obviously, he can when necessary, but not that time. So it's Boston now, following the score by Oklahoma City, and the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That is his first foul of the game. Celtics making a switch here. Birds checked in. Chamberlain with the block. And the quickness off the floor, it, the insane reach. Well, one of the greatest shot blockers you'll ever see. In the corner, it's Westbrook. A three ball. A three-pointer is right on target. Westbrook's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Austin's gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. The drive by James. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Well, the, the big story in the offseason was the bronze free agents. You knew that there would be a ton of rumors flying around about where he might end up. Honestly, I'm sure he's glad it's over with and can once again focus on the court. Pierce is checked in for Bird. And both free throws. Good for James. And for LeBron, it's really about the media circus, uh, Greg, that surrounds him when he's a free agent. And, and boy, it, it's hard because his free agency is the story in the NBA. Honestly, maybe the story in sports. The decision he made with this team completely shaped and shifted the outlook of the entire league. All other free agents and teams were just waiting to see what he'd do before the dominoes start to fall. Here's Pierce following the basket by Russell Westbrook. Beyond the clock, Chamberlain with the block. Well, I'll tell you, it hasn't been his best quarter, but we know he won't get discouraged. This guy will keep grinding. And the dunk by Kobe. Let's remember, Westbrook is capable of triple doubles because of this kind of passing. My goodness, that's pretty. And that was an Unleashed Chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play. Sponsored by Under Armour Hover Hat. 
plays with such an aggressive attitude. Even a sliver of daylight gets him to the rim. 149 left to play in the first. Kobe kicks to Irving. Chamberlain the pass to Irving. In the corner, it's Westbrook. That's in, coming off an assist from Bryant. Kobe's got three assists now in this one. Don't give Russell Westbrook an inch, especially down low. This guy lethal. Now here's Jake. For Boston, they have gone two for two in the game at the line. He's off on the first. The Oklahoma City Thunder with one of the more rabid fan bases, Doris, in the NBA. Well, seven straight seasons of sellouts. There's something about the love affair you find in these small market, one sport towns. This is an organization that has the complete and full support of their community. Austin making a switch here. Jordan's checked in. Ouch. Three fouls for him already. And now if you're the coach, you got to think about sitting him down. Chamberlain hits them both. In a somewhat unbelievable circumstance last season, Doris Celtics coach Brad Stevens receiving zero votes for Coach of the Year. It was surprising in this way, Kevin. This is a man who lost his two best scorers to injury and still led his team to the second seed in the Eastern Conference. But I think if you look across the league one year ago, there were tremendous coaching jobs done from any number of guys. And the reality is Brad Stevens is by far one of the best coaches in the NBA. Hardware or no hardware. Here's Garnett following the basket by Kobe Bryant. LeBron kicks to George. No good from outside. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Oklahoma City shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And it's been an issue for them as it was last year. Only 72% from the line. Malone's checked in for Chamberlain. And a change for the Celtics. Wilkins is checked in. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And as a free throw shooter, Robin has his challenges. One of those guys who almost shoots a better percentage from the field. Now here's LeBron. It's George on the wing. Boston, no good that time either. Well, he's trying to shoot his way out of this slump, but it's not helping his team. That was an awful quarter. And stolen by James. And pushing it up, here's Boston. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. The Celtics shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. The first one falls. And you look at Wilkins, everybody talks about the spectacular athleticism. But in some ways, I think he's just underrated as a basketball player. It just does so many things well for his team. There's that accurate touch of his at the strike. He is locked in. Malone right side. And slammed in by Malone. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. And a deep three from James. That shot off. And so it's Oklahoma City with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. Their defensive mindset clearly focused on clamping down on LeBron James and their game plan is working. We come back right after this. LeBron James is the all-time leader in playoff field goals made, and he had this to say about his ability to nail clutch shots. I always feel like I got it. I always feel like I got it in the clutch, no matter what's going on. And you know, Greg, that's the type of confidence you got to have. Uh, the words of a leader.